I am Satish Paryani, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchal Institute of Technology, Sholapur. Today, we will be discussing about the project management and it, its relation with regression cycle or regression analysis, how it has been useful in project management. At the end of this session, students will be able to apply and analyze linear regression to the problems when they are doing during the project. What are the contents which will be covered? First, there will be introduction, simple linear regression, what are the assumption in linear regression, how to calculate coefficient, example of linear regression and what, how, what are the references being used for this. Introduction, first. What is linear? What is regression first? Regression analysis is a statistical tool for investing the relationship between the dependent variable and one or more independent variable. We as a people, we know all are dependent on something else. So there is one dependent and there are certain un independent variables. This is casual forecasting model in which the from historical data, a functional relationship is being established between the variables and that is being used to forecast dependent values. This technique is used for finding casual effect relationship between variables. Relationship, example, relationship between the rash driving and road accidents. Yes, there is a relationship. Regression analysis is an important tool for modeling and analyzing data. Hence, we fit the curve line of data points in such a manner that difference between data points from the curve or line is minimized. That delta is being minimized. Application area. The application areas is throughout we can say first is engineering second is management as we are discussing here in project management and life cycle and biological sciences physical and chemical science economics social science so these are some of important areas now we'll discuss simple linear regression model simple linear regression model establish a relationship between dependent variable y we say a dependent variable y with one or more independent variable x using the best fit straight line also which is known as a regression line the simple linear regression model is y is equal to a plus bx plus e where y is response variable x is regression variable B is slope, E is error, A is intercept. Please go through this formula once again. Response variable is equal to intercept plus slope into regression variable plus error. Error can be positive or negative. It depends upon the data. We will see error in our next lecture which will be coming soon. Now think from that expression, what do you think when the slope of line is more? Slope of line is more. A is intercept. B was the slope at that moment of time. So the greater the magnitude of slope, the steeper the line means greater the rate of change. The greater the magnitude of slope, the steeper the line means greater the rate of change. Now assumption in linear regressions, linear regression model before we will start in the project management it is being used. It is based on six fundamental basic assumption. The dependent and independent variables show the linear relationship with the slope and intercept. This is the first major basic assumption. The independent variable is not random. It has certain way of working. It do not works haphazardly. It has certain process of working, we will say. The independent variable, the value of residual, that is error is zero. The value of residual error is constant across all observ observations. The value of residual error is not correlated across any observation what we will be making. The residual error values follow the normal distribution. The first and foremost important here, the data follows the normal distribution. If the data is not normal, we cannot go for linear regression model. How to calculate the coefficient? How to obtain the best fit line or value of A first we need to obtain A and B. The task can be easily accomplished by least square method. It calculates the best line 
which is fitted or observed data by minimizing the sum of squares of vertical deviations from each data point to the line. Because the deviations are first squared when added, there is no cancelling out, out between the positive and negative values. Let us see with the help of example. These are formulas which can be easily available. N is summation of xt dt minus summation of xt into dt divided by n summation of x square t minus summation of xt square where a intercept can be found out summation of dt minus b summation of xt whole divided by n where d is a plus bx and n is number of periods we'll see with one example A paper box company makes carry out pizza boxes. The operations planning department knows that pizza sales of major clients are function of advertising dollars the client spends, an account which they can receive in advance expenditure. Operation planning is interested in determining this relationship between client sales and advertisement because they want to set up the new factory I'll say. They want to set up a total new factory and for that this data is required. A new project is handed over to a manager and he carries out this. The amount of pizza boxes the client will order in dollar volume is known as a fixed percentage of sales. Now these are some of the market intelligence or market way they have calculated from quarter ten, previous 10 quarters. They have taken out the data from different sector. They have done the benchmarking. A project has, project team has worked thoroughly in this, and they have found out that quarter one, the advertisement, what has been done by these companies were four lakhs, and sales in crore was one. Advertisement in lakhs and sales was in CR. Second quarter, ten lakhs sales four CR. Third quarter, fifteen lakhs sales five CR. Fourth quarter. 12 lakhs again sales 4 CR, 5th quarter 8 3, 6 16 4, 7th 5 2, 8 7 1, 9th 9 4 and 10 10 and 2. Calculate the sale forecast if for the next quarter advertising expected is 11 lakhs. Let us say a company will want to spend 11 lakhs in coming quarter if on to the projected. What sale forecasting they are expected to there and so that they can plan out their business. They assume that there will be expenditure of 11 lakhs and then how they can plan it out. Advertisement we will say XT. Sales we will be say DT. And as per our formula, what is required xt square and xt into dt. So for each, they have calculated advertisement 4 lakhs, that is 16 lakhs, sales is 1 CR. So xt into dt, they have done it. Same way they have done it for all. Some they have calculated it. xt square is 1060, xt dt is 328. Putting the values, the intercept B can be found out with the help of formula is 0.29. That is the slope is 0.29. And A intercept is 0.22. Hence, the function can be written as the forecasting for Ness is A plus BT. 0.22 plus 0.29 xt now here they will be spending 11 lakhs so our forecasting which is expected is 3.41 cr now we have seen this is very simple model where we are just calculating a one independent variable with some dependent variable forecasting on the basis of advertisement if we increase the advertisement whether our sales has been increased or not similarly let us take the example of agriculture if we 
last year if there was improvement compared to last year there was improvement in rain or improvement in using our fertilizers or pesticides whether the crop yield has been increased or not with that parameter we can calculate now where but we see this quite the world is not so simple it not only involves one factor there are n number of factors so we will use different methods for this but for a simple for understanding this when one we want to study the one factors impact on other direct variable we can find out with the help of this thing so references which we use during this is from nptel videos which are available a good initiative by iits and iics and book by adam and ebert ronald production and operation management fifth edition and then some net material corporate finance institutes will be used thank you